The very first JavaScript quirk that we're going to look at is the addition of two booleans. Now in most programming languages, a boolean is a primitive value that represents true or false. So it doesn't make sense that you could use a mathematical operand like the addition operator in between two boolean values without getting an error as a result. However, in JavaScript, that's not the case. So let's create a variable, let's call it result, and let's set it equal to the result of the equation true plus false. Now we would expect because true is a boolean and false is a boolean that using a mathematical operand that is intended for numbers would throw some type of error. But instead, when we log the result, we see that the value is the integer 1. That's very confusing. Well, there's an explanation for this, and we can find that explanation inside of the JavaScript language specification. So if we jump over here, you'll see we're at 262.ecmainternational.org slash 5.1. So what this is, 262 refers to a suite of JavaScript tests that are standardized tests designed for determining if a JavaScript interpreter is actually capable of meeting the specifications required to be considered a JavaScript interpreter. So this is kind of like you're building a JavaScript interpreter, be it whatever's inside of the JavaScript V8 engine that Chrome uh, develops, for example. Does it meet the specification tightly enough to truly be considered JavaScript, or is it a language of itself, a different language? Now, ECMAinternational.org refers to ECMA International, which is a worldwide nonprofit which is responsible for maintaining the current version of the JavaScript specification. And within there, there's an organization called uh, TC39, which is responsible for architecting new and upcoming versions of the JavaScript programming language. So this is kind of the most authentic source for understanding how JavaScript works on the web. So if we jump down to 11.6.1, we'll see that this is documentation on how the addition operation operator works within the JavaScript programming language. So it says the addition operator either performs string concatenation, the combination of string values, or numeric addition, the mathematical addition of numbers. Now, here is basically a set of requirements for the addition operator. This is the steps the addition operator takes when evaluating an equation. So if we jump to line 8, we'll see that we return the result of applying the addition operation to two number and two number. So this is really where this answer comes from. Whenever we take two values and we put an addition operator in between them in JavaScript, we apply two number to both of them. And if we jump over here, we can see that the two number is some type of function. And the two number takes an argument. If it takes undefined, it spits out not a number. If it takes null, it spits out zero. And right here, if it takes a Boolean, it returns one if the argument is true and zero if the argument is false. So a lot of confusing functionality in JavaScript around Booleans comes from the fact that this two number function is called on equations that make use of Booleans, converting the Booleans into either ones or zeros and representing them with the integer value. So it's, it's not that true is not a boolean and false is not a boolean, it's simply that there is a function behind the scenes inside of the JavaScript interpreter that converts on the fly booleans to their integer equivalents and that's why we can take this value true and add this value false and get an integer one because the value true when run through the two number function right here will give us a one and the value false when run through this two number function will give us a zero.